Good afternoon. My name is Eric Briardson. I'm with Virginia Dyes Incorporated. We're a small company on the east coast of the U.S. Uh, we specialize in millimeter wave and terahertz test and measurement equipment. So uh, what we do is we, we allow uh, engineers who are have typical microwave test equipment like a spectrum analyzer or, or a network analyzer, signal generator, uh, that works up to 20 or 40 gigahertz, and we extend the operation of that up to uh, up to the millimeter wave and terahertz, up to one terahertz even, uh, in the different waveguide bands. So what we're showing here in this case, this is a Keysight PXA uh, spectrum analyzer and a signal generator, um, and we're using the noise figure capability um, of the spectrum analyzer to measure the noise figure of a 170 to 260 gigahertz waveguide amplifier that we sell. And so here is a, a WR4.3 noise source, a Shockey diode noise source, uh, with about six or seven dB of ENR. Um, and this is a down converter for the 220 to 330 gigahertz band. This is one of our products. That's a down converter that can be used either with a spectrum analyzer or a network analyzer. And the device under test in this case is that WR4 amplifier. So by doing a simple calibration, and using the, the noise from this, from this noise diode, and doing a hot cold measurement, we can measure the noise figure of this amp as well as its gain. It's a power amplifier, so its noise isn't great, but we can see we're measuring a nice flat, about 12 dB noise figure, with a very high flat gain of about 25 dB. Uh, so if you have any, uh, any chips or devices that you're now developing up for 6G and other high frequency applications where you already have the test equipment for 20 or 40 gigahertz and you want to measure something say at 110 to 170 gigahertz or 220 to 330 gigahertz, uh, then you can use one of our modules to, to do all the same characterizations uh, you would do at RF and microwave.